Before we get started, I got to give a huge shout out to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, you're about to watch a video like you've never watched from me before. This is what could go wrong, will go wrong, fishing with Blue Gabe 101. Let's first start with my contender right over there. Let me, I just gotta walk over here and show you. Now you're gonna see some awesome fishing footage today, don't worry, I promise you. I'm gonna show you some awesome fish. But if you watched my last video from here in the Keys, you saw and heard me talk about my new contender, leaking fuel. Wait till you see this. So I gotta first gotta open that hatch. Look how bad that looks. You see that? Look how terrible that looks. Now let me show you the other side, what a normal side looks like. But I thought both sides were normal because that's what I was told. Look at that. Perfectly clean, brand new tank. Yep, so that's the first thing that happened. The second thing is I gotta go up here to the front of the boat. All right, we're gonna get right back to the video in just a second, but I gotta tell you about a very important situation that we all deal with. Now, if you're like me and you drink so much caffeine, it's insane, you don't eat really healthy, you're gonna have days like what you're about to watch. You're, you're gonna be forgetful, you're gonna, your brain will just be scattered, and that's where my brain was that day, and it's where it is often, because I don't eat good, and I don't get the vitamins and minerals I really need. And that's where AG1 comes into play. And one of the best things about Athletic Greens is they make these easy to go packets. Because I know you already know with me, I'm on the road 24 seven. With these packets, I can throw three or four of them in my camera box. And if I'm gone for a couple of days, drink one a day. All you need is this convenient little shaker that comes in your package when you order it. And one of these little packs. Put the lid on, shake and drink. The best thing about it, it doesn't even taste bad. Your kids can drink it, you can drink it, and it will make you feel 10 times better, trust me. AG1 is a comprehensive daily nutrition made powerfully simple. It's made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins and minerals and superfoods. And it's carefully curated to nourish all your body's systems holistically. Now you know why I chose Athletic Greens. You know what's in Athletic Greens. So all you have left to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash bluegabe. They're gonna give my community a one year supply of their immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2. Plus they're gonna give you guys five free travel packets with your first purchase. Now back to the show because I'm not even close to showing you all the things that went wrong in this awesome video. You see this reel right here? This is about a $2,000, $2,500 Daiwa electric reel. And if you follow along, you've seen me use it plenty of times. All right, we gotta go back here. You see this right here? This is my bait well. It's pretty deep. It's like that deep, see? Pretty deep. Well, we got back from fishing today. I stepped off right here with that Daiwa in my hand and I fell in the bait well. And as I did, I tried to catch myself and that new Daiwa right there hit right here and fell all the way to the bottom right there where right over here, there's a ton of sharks. Well, before we started cleaning fish, they were all right here circling. Look what I did to my shin. Yeah, that's not everything that's went wrong either today. Let's just go back over here real quick. So if you know, I film with GoPros. That's pretty much all I film with. And they have clamps on them, like this one. Well, guess what? My clamp broke today too. I can't even use my clamp. So right now I'm holding my camera like this. What else went wrong today that we don't know about, that I can't remember? Well, the wind was blowing really oh, hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How could I forget the weatherman said at 4.30 this morning, it was gonna lay out and get calm. Well, we woke up at six o'clock in the morning and it was blowing harder than yesterday. Imagine that. <laughs> Hence the reason why we didn't film a ton offshore, but we actually did film enough offshore. We're in about 240 foot of water, about 25 miles due west of Key West, catching tunas. We had them skying. My shin hurts, my head hurts. <laughs> 
but most importantly my wallet hurts because that fuel tank right there is probably going to cost me somewhere around 15 to 20 thousand dollars to fix and i can't use the boat again until i do it because imagine if a spark happened in that boat we would have looked like human popcorn wouldn't we uh, well, i think a little worse than that maybe like the size of popcorn yeah i guess scattered over everywhere bombs yeah let's go catch a couple of tuna I can't even remember what fishing footage I have, but whatever I have, I'm about to show you right now. When you get back, I'm gonna show you what's lurking in here. But oh my goodness, besides these big sharks, because there's a bunch of other cool fish too. I don't know what this is. I thought a shark had it forever. You got a pompano, Gabe? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one. Nice job. I'm are actually Amber Jacks open. Uh, we're in the Atlantic. Yes, I believe they are. Oh. Bring them here, Gabriel. <sighs> nice jack, buddy. I thought for sure that was a black fin tuna in the shark's head. In. Jack fin tuna, boy. <laughs> Forty pound test on an old salty. I don't know how many more of those I got in me. You're a tough guy. Probably a 20 pounder, 25. Almost as big as the one that we caught together. Yeah. <laughs> Right there, folks at home. I don't even know if we have room in our little brine cooler anymore. That one's cold. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, boy. Wow. do you think it'll take me to get bit if i had my jig head i know i'd get bit fast but i'm just using a circle hook you got a jig head or no i'm just gonna throw a way up tide and wait for it to sink these guys get fouled up so easy really long there we go oh crop your rod are up shallow. Oh yes. Got another one on, Joey. Oh yeah. We can take a quick picture here. Just a perfect picture. <laughs> Nice, what about it? Four pound yellowtail on the four pound test. How about that, Ba? How about? I wish we could do this all the time. I know, right? He got my circle hook down in his gut somehow. Let me. This one has my uh, circle hook in his gut as well. It took forever to eat it. I got chum and stuff in my belly button that's disgusting that's, that is gross <laughs> did that just give you a good mental picture it gave me the heebie-jeebies as a matter of fact and that's not a lie that, dig, that made my stomach churn a little bit will you dig it out for mm, me no 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 i will not ow are we done 
Wow. There you go. There you go. Wow. Now y'all wondering where that thumbnail came from? We're about to do a tuna yellowtail taste tester. So I left my Danko at the house. That's the first sin. But I do have a nice little knife right here. Yellowtail is just like any other fish. You come right down its backbone, its upper fin like that. Cut through. I'm trying not to cut Joey's hand off at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now this fish didn't get brined down very well because we ran out of ice today. But that's all right, look at that. Beautiful filet. Maybe I can show you a little bit better on this side. Yeah, be Completely different style of cleaning right here. Went right through the ribs. Speed technique. Perfect. Yes. What about a shark? They gotta eat too. Just come in here and cut a little bit of this off. Done. Come in here and cut a little bit of these rib bones. Just like so. Now you know they say things come in threes? They're dead wrong because about 33, well that is threes. <laughs> 33 things went wrong today. Yep, and that's how everything's gone. Yeah, whatever. Even something bit my tuna today. I don't know what bit it, but something bit a big old chunk out of it. Now the tuna is not completely different, but it is a little bit different. Cut right there. When you get right here on a tuna, it gets hard. Right where his uh, dorsal fin is. Yeah. Worst part of the whole process. Now I want to come in right here. This is the different part. You wouldn't do this with a yellowtail. I want to come right here and cut it. Now, to be honest with you, this isn't a fair taste test as far as which one tastes better because they're completely different. I'm just wanting to see which one Joey and I thinks tastes the best. Like what do we like as far as sashimi or a piece of fried fish? I sure wish I had my Danko because it's a lot sharper than that. <laughs> yeah, we forgot all our knives. I forgot my knives. He has, we both have one of our knives and they're in such bad shape that we can't even use them. They're unusable for our video. I can't wait to read the comments in these videos. People are gonna be like, oh this, and oh that, oh it's the, you guys. Welcome to the circus boys, the clowns are here. <laughs> until you do youtube full time you got to think about like you and your buddies go fishing or you go by yourself all you're really thinking about is your tackle we are thinking about a million different things we're already thinking about the next video i'm thinking about that fighter jet flying by which is super loud one thing i will be thinking about here in the next 20 minutes is how we're going to cook this food so we'll see you back at our amazing vacation rental mm. oh it's so nice wait till you see the house I'm gonna introduce everybody in just a second. We got the whole, look, look at the outfit with the cowboy boots. <laughs> Can I get a yee-haw? She's showing up. Yee-haw. <laughs> you guys, kids are awesome. I'm gonna start with the tuna first. This is the easiest, best appetizer you'll ever have. So I knock that down right at the end. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna make some awesome little cubes. This house that we're in right now is one of the nicest houses in the Keys, and I can tell you what. I said that in my video, too. <laughs> you know what the coolest it's part awesome. is? You guys can come here and stay. And not just this house. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. And it's like a gated community, too. It's like a peace of mind thing when you're on vacation. Don't, don't know the area, don't know what it's like. You literally are going to be vacationing in a gated community. <laughs> if you watch my last video and you didn't hear me say it at the beginning, you can go to the link in the description below that video and this video to learn all about this house and this neighborhood and their whole entire operation down here. You can do this with skipjack tuna, yellowfin tuna, anything really. Even the cereal mackerel that Joey did in his video. You just don't want the chunks too big. The crazy part about this, the most time consuming part is what I'm doing right now. You see I have a Danko in my hand, right? I forgot the last time I was here, I gave Buddy one. We call Buddy, Buddy. His name's Robert, some of us call, you call him. His wife calls him uh, Robert. Robert. <laughs> the one in charge calls him Robert. I'm like 50-50, half the time it's Buddy, half the time it's Robert. And you're stored in my phone as Robert. And I always initially go to look for Buddy. But super simple. 
So all I did was put tuna in there right now. Right here I have some green onions. I even have cilantro that I'm gonna make for them, but right now I'm not putting cilantro in it because I do not like cilantro. You got the soap, Gene? See that right there? What is that? Ooh. All right, I gotta shake it up. More key, I need a spoon, Joey. I need a spoon. You guys, the kitchen here is what makes me the most jealous. <laughs> See the avocado? I just cut it up in little squares. Look at that. It's done. Literally done. That easy. Raw, cold, fresh. So good. I do have one more thing I want to put in that I got yesterday. I think it's in the refrigerator. That was the last ingredient I was looking for, but I only used a little bit. Now here we have Stephanie, who's Robert's wife. We have Eli. Now I got, how do we explain how, who they are to you? Why are you looking around like nervous? <laughs> I'm looking for Mahogany's mother. Okay, there Eli Mahogany. Who is? Elsie. 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 Mahogany's mother, Elsie, was my nanny growing up. Um, hmm. She took care of me when I was... So Miss Elsie was your nanny. Yeah. That's your mother. That's Mahogany, and this is your daughter, a lot. Yep. And this so is Lawrence was born, Elsie moved to Key West. Nine was it. Huh? Nine was it. When you were born. <laughs> Nine was Do you want to try some right. fish? When, when Florence appeared. Y'all dig in and give this a try right here. Joey, get over there. You've been fishing too. Eli, come on. You know you want some. I want some of Miss Elsie's cooking. I know. Dude, when we give her them yellow tails. There's three different types of chips. So I don't know if you like plain or... You know what's funny about their, what are they called, Old Florida chips? I didn't know they existed. I went bluefin fishing in North Carolina and they had them in Publix and this is by far, by far the best flavored like corn it? chip I've ever had. I'm so happy. By far, like that I found it in North Carolina. It's delicious, right? Look at Miss Elsie, she's looking like, give me some. Elsie, you wanna try? Here, I'll get her some. Okay. Thank you. Is it good, Florence? You like? A lie? That's pretty good, huh? Lawrence, I'm so proud of Gabe, you. Gabe, can you make... Hey, hey Gabe. Can you make some more of this? Like, I told you to grab me a bag of fish and you grabbed the smallest bag. I'm, hey, I'm one step no, ahead of you. I'm one no, step no. ahead of you. I already got two more loins right here. Yeah, you? I, yeah. Can't, I can't leave the bowl. Mahogany, it's come here. Gone when I come back. You got to change it, baby? You might need to change Joey too when you're done. He, he's a little, he's a little stinky. <laughs> I still smell like chum. How is it, Mr. Spotswood? This is very good, sir. Mm -hmm. Did you really like it, Steph? Did you see how easy that was? It's delicious. How much would that be at any restaurant in Key West? Mm -hmm. I bet you twenty dollars an appetizer, twenty to twenty-five, and that's probably four appetizers worth. And you wanted me to throw that fish back today. Oh, no, he didn't. Hold on. Pause. <laughs> he did. You threw like four back. Yeah, because we had six. What are we going to do with six of them? Now I wish we had six more. But <laughs> We could have caught 30 of them. Well, that was one fish. We got plenty of fish. That was two bottoms. You guys, look at this house, though. That was a half of fish. Look at this place. It's absolutely bottom. amazing. We have the... Let me just stop real quick. In between cooking sections, look at this pool. It's 95 degrees right now. There's a dock. You can't see it because it's dark. The boat's right down there. You go right under that bridge and you're in the Atlantic. You come right out and go left and you're in the Gulf. Lobstering, tuna fishing, anything you want to do in the Keys, this place, this neighborhood is legit. We're about 40, 35 miles to Marathon and only 10 miles to Key West. You're perfectly centered in the Keys. Well, we completely changed plans again. Joey had a great idea. Why not just make the same dish with the yellowtail? This is a type of fish that not a lot of people think about eating raw. As long as you take care of it when you're cleaning it, you can eat it raw all day long. There you go, Joey. Now, your opinion really doesn't count because you're super hungry. You eat anything right now. <laughs> Come here, Eli. We need you and Stephanie. What is this one? This is just the yellowtail. It's the same, hmm? but it's just the other totally different flavored fish, though. And what'd you mix in it? It's, it's the same sauce, same oh. everything. You can have some too, Robert. Don't think I was cutting you out of the deal. 
you know, I was getting ready to ask. You Definitely. know what I want? Remember when we cooked on the big viral hog video when you cooked that, um, the tenderloin off that hog? Yeah. Slow and marinated on the grill? Oh man, that would be good right now. It's really good. I'm boxing people yeah, out like this more. Better. This yeah. is, we're gonna do a camp for that. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's delicious. But this one? Mm -hmm. Better texture. But she's chewing much slower than she did with the tuna. She's thinking about it. <laughs> tuna I am tuna. thinking about it. No, but I do think this is Now, if I would have fried this piece of fish, the yellowtail, you would have liked it. Mm, look at that. Though. I haven't even had a bite yet. So we saved the best footage for last. When I fell into the bait well, which then dropped my $3,000 reel, him and I were so focused. That would have broke the internet if we would have been filming. Like if I you would have me- No, I'll tell you what would have happened. I would have grabbed the GoPro and you'd been like, what are you doing? When do you get the reel out of the water? <laughs> what is the odds that I drop my most expensive reel before I just bought that LP in the water and three sharks swim up? <laughs> Yeah, we, we haven't seen the shark. We talked about him. We didn't see one shark. He was about to jump in. He was halfway in. He was standing Literally on waiting. the lift, halfway in the water. And he's about to go in. He's like, I can't go in. I was like, why? It's like, do you see that big shark? And I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. So he didn't film because he thought I was going to yell at him because I was stressed <laughs> that my reel was down there. Well, guess who did film? <laughs> we didn't know this guy had security cameras all over his house. We didn't know this. <laughs> Look at my shin. I've already showered. Oh, why, why is it bleeding still? It won't stop bleeding. <laughs> listen, folks. Listen, folks. Listen, <laughs> yeah. listen, folks. Look, it won't stop bleeding. <laughs> so we come in today, and we could have brought our boat right here to this house. It's just as easy, but he has a play station and everything ready. These houses are new, and they're getting ready to add that on this dock. So we go to his house. And we're leaving in the morning, so I'm like, all right, Joey, let's clean the boat. Let's get everything situated to where in the morning all we got to do is throw it on the trailer. I, was, I stepped foot on the boat, and I grabbed the most expensive freaking reel on the boat. <laughs> oh, crap. You guys don't even understand. Hold See, on. I got to tell them some more important information. <laughs> no, they don't know this yet. Because I've never... Listen, silence. Silence. They don't know this yet. In the back of my boat, I have two bait wells side by side. But in between those and my center console, there's a bait well on the floor and we didn't even show them that. Y'all, we were catching bait this morning as the sun was rising and it was so beautiful. I got a clip of us loading it in. Yeah. So you might as well put that there right now. We yeah. put about so y'all are seeing us there. catch bait. But what you don't see is on the floor of my boat, there's a bait well. It's about this big by this big, but it's, that deep. We pull up to his house and he wanted the bait for his kids. So we scoop all the bait out and put it in his bait pen and I come and get in the boat. And I fall in the freaking bait well. And I did this to my shin. <laughs> and I got a hole in my fuel tank in the boat. So it's like, today was like a, probably a $20,000 day or more. Best day ever. You guys, that's it. Y'all saw the footage, that, do, that do was leave, us. Do we leave the part out about the sharks? Or no? <laughs> what? No, we're leaving that in. There were sharks that were trying to eat. There were not sharks. He was just scared. Of no, them. there was no, a shark. There was I, definitely no, the, I saw the shark. I saw it. There was. You didn't I, see it? I, yeah, I saw it. Was it. A nurse shark. It was, it was not a nurse shark. <laughs> it was a nurse shark. He's a he's a sissy. That's right. He was he's a sissy. It. it was a nurse shark. I watched it. You guys, I just couldn't jump in. I'm like, I can't jump. I have two kids at home. I can't jump in and get ate by a shark. Why do you have sharks at your dock? They're pets. Why are you rude? You set me up for that. You turned your security <laughs> camera on. You left the bait well open and knew I would get in there and fall in it. That's what it boils down he to. He left the bait well open. Uh, yes, I set you up. <laughs> you guys, this, this trip- was all my fault. Listen, Joey and I planned this trip last week it said it was supposed to blow five to 10 miles an hour. It blew 25 to 65 for the last two days. 60. Well, let's, let's pump the brakes. It was supposed to be five to 10. It was, it was five, it was 15 to 20 gust up to 25. It was fishable, but it, was not, it wasn't fun. It was not fun, that but we fished. The, the same as 65. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> we're coming back here. We're gonna show you more of these beautiful houses in 
tell you even more about him. But if you want to come, check the link in the description below for his website. This place is amazing, and we will see y'all soon. That's the end of it. That's the end of this video. You've seen us catch, clean, and cook some tuna and yellowtail. You got to see his beautiful face once again. <laughs> he's not very talkative. You notice he's not the most talkative. He's quiet. So I'm his peas to the carrots. You're the carrots on the peas. There you go. That's, <laughs> that sounds good to me. All right. He has put my kids on their first turkey. Hogs like crazy. He's like family now. Joey's obviously like, he's like my stepson that. Oh, oh can I, no, can no, I, no, can no. I use you on my taxes this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be able to, but that's it, folks. We're getting up out of here and getting there. I'm going to like a little bit.